It's Nolan. What's going on, y'all? It's the kid Jay Nolan here. Now, I'm a little bit late reporting on this, man. This happened over the weekend where some exotic dancer came out and decided that she wanted to call out Lotto. Now, y'all should know Lotto has a new song out called It's a Party where she sampled and interpolated Waka Flocka Flames record of the same title called It's a Party. There's a lot of different mixed reviews that's going on out there. I know when I heard it, I thought that the song wasn't all that. I'm going to be all the way honest. I hate to say it to my South Side sister in Lotto. I like her a lot. I, I want her to be as successful as she possibly can be. To me, the song is not coming up to the measure, especially coming off of Put It On The Flow with Cardi. That one was out of this, you know what I mean, out of the stratosphere. You get this one where she takes another popular Atlanta hit song that's already got its own success. It's got its own vibe. Waka still goes out and turns up parties and clubs and festivals with this record. So you would want to add something of value when you make this new record. Now, she didn't sound all that bad. It sounded like a typical Lotto song, but she has this other artist on the song called Baby Drill. And Baby Drill, I'm going to be honest, man. Don't get mad. You're trash, bro. He is absolute trash. He switched the vibe up of the record so fast everybody was like where the heck is waka why is he not on here with a verse now a lot of people were like waka should be sending through that goddamn lawsuit unfortunately i don't think that's gonna happen because he was actually with her in the club throwing money when the song came out so clearly waka co-signed it he's rocking with lotto i think he's just being supportive i don't think he really cares what the song is hitting on because he it ain't like he gotta live with it all that much he's gonna get paid off it regardless because it's an interpolation this is something that was probably around for a minute so there is no lawsuit they have a relationship the business had to be buttoned up before it came out. Lotto's too big of an artist not to. I'm just trying to understand who the fuck Baby Drill is, why it was important for him to be on that song, why she couldn't get on a record of his to feature rather than her being on his. I know it's a greater look for him, but he completely killed the vibe on that song and definitely killed all of his future potential. Outside of that, she also went to the club and like I said, she was throwing money. Unfortunately, she had to pack up some of that money, right? So in the midst of her throwing all this cash in the strip club, apparently her little wallet got stolen with her credit cards and things of that nature. So she's like, hey, hell no, I'm not going to come in here, patronize with y'all, spend money, throw money, have y'all going home with pockets full and y'all going to leave here stealing my shit. No. So she got all the money off the floor and left with it which I am not mad about. Now, there is someone who is mad about it, which is one of the dancers who came out and exposed this story to the net. So let's go ahead and play what she has to say and try to get a little bit more understanding where they're coming from, although I'm not gonna side with her no way. Just the way it is. Things will never be the same. You come and celebrate your song release. You throw money on these girls who gotta pay their bills, take care of their families, and do all of this that is nothing to you. You get what I'm saying? What this girl is down here shaking her tail feather for, you wipe your wit. You get what I'm saying? But you really picked up. I lost all respect for this person because you chose to host a party here. You chose to do this. And a lot of girls pay house fees. They bought outfits. They really put money, hair, nails, lashes, everything. And then because you can't find your little wallet, not a purse with a bunch of bread in it, but a little card wallet, you picked up every dollar on the floor that you threw and took it with you. Your song, Old Time Mill. Yeah, so I knew I wasn't going to side with this lady, but just that just confirmed it even further. Okay, number one, I'm not sure if Lotto is a multimillionaire. I don't know, right? She has one big album. I don't know how that album performed in totality. I know she had a couple big singles off that album. She's about to come back with her next major label album. So I don't know if she's a multimillionaire. She has money. She has access to capital. Yes, but I don't know how rich, rich, rich. Lotto really is. I know she went on a major world tour with Lizzo and all of that. She has bread, but I'm just saying when you're out here getting it, you want to collect it. Yes, yeah, she spent some with y'all. But like I said, if y'all want to steal from somebody while they're out patronizing you, out supporting you, shaking your tail feather, as you say, 
right out trying to give y'all some money to go home with the least y'all could do is try to make sure that the mother supplying all the money is taken care of as well now another thing that i have to question is are you trying to tell me that lotto was the only person spending money in the club with all of y'all dancing all of y'all paying house fees and doing whatever buying outfits she was the only person in there throwing money nobody else had anything and y'all came ready for what so your issue can't solely be with Lotto. She might have been the one with the most, but y'all should have helped. Y'all should have definitely, hey, put the put the music on mute. Put it on pause, DJ. We're going to come, hey, keep that song right there. That shit will ride right there. But we're going to come back to it, my boy. Let's find the goddamn, uh, this little wallet with the cards in it. Because the wallet with the cards in it probably worth way more than what y'all got on the floor. She said she was going to put it on the floor, but sometimes you got to pick it back up. Hey, hold on, hold on. Let me get my goddamn money back. You know what I'm saying? We're going to hold on to what we got till we get what I need. I don't see what the issue is. I understand. I feel sorry for y'all if y'all came out, did y'all thing, and didn't leave with as much as you might have intended or hoped for. That's kind of like how life goes. You understand what I'm saying? I ain't got no sympathy for you. You putting up the house fees to come out for a night to try to make some money ain't no different from somebody paying vendor fees to go be at an event. And they might not make two sales while they at the event, but they put the money up to be there. Hey, it just didn't go your way that day. That's how it goes. Same shit goes for artists when they create an album. Put the money up. They pay all the producers, pay all the personnel that go into it. The songwriters, everybody getting their cut and the album underperforms and the label says you get nothing. That's just how it goes, man. So. Y'all don't be feeling sympathy for these people. Everybody be talking about how niggas are so dumb, so dumb, so dumb. Hey, I'm not even judging you for your profession. Y'all was out there doing it, had a real hard earned night, you know what I'm saying? But it just did not go your way. I apologize that it didn't. But to say you lost all respect for Lotto, hey, that's on you, fam. You know what I mean? But did you help her get her goddamn wallet back? Because if you didn't, you part of the problem. Because you could have went home with a little son. You could have cashed out. But you played yourself and you made this video to play yourself even further. You've disclosed your identity for other people to attack you online. I'm not co-signing that, but you put yourself out there for it to happen. OK, so you played the game. The game don't always go your way. You put the motherfucking quarters in and play Street Fighter at the arcade. It, it's not guaranteed that you're going to go undefeated. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, you might get hit with a split for the Yugen, a Shora Yugen. You know what I mean? Shit go, <laughs> Dal Seam hit you with one of them, <laughs> shit go bad. That's life. That's the game of life, man. Sometimes we set up the grand slam and that motherfucker don't go over the fence. Like I said the other day, Ken Griffey got that arm, that golden glove, snatch your motherfucking dreams and hopes away from you. I feel sorry for you, but we can't change it. And I bet you when Lotto come back and she spend money, y'all ain't going to say shit. Y'all going to accept y'all money. Y'all going to keep dancing. You're going to play your signature song. You're going to hit them twirls. You're going to hit them swirls. And y'all going to go back to the crib and spend that money. What? You expect to be best friends with Lotto or something? I'm sure she don't get two fucks. Right? Because y'all want to steal. How the wallet go missing? Right? Somebody just got there coming. Snag a two foot up out of her purse. Because you say her purse wasn't missing. But somebody took her, her wallet with the cards in it. And you think what? Oh, all you got to do is cancel the card. You should have just left us your money. Nah, motherfucker, because I don't know when I'm going to get this shit back. I don't know what y'all done spent off that motherfucker in this in this short time. Atlanta is the scam capital of the world right now, is it not? No, nah, ain't nobody finna play with y'all. And you want somebody to be empathetic and sympathetic towards you, but you don't want to be empathetic and sympathetic towards the person who actually came in and spent the bread? No, nah, that's crazy. You don't really give a fuck about me. You just want my money. Give me my shit back. That's why they tell you money can't buy your love out there in the streets, man. <laughs> like I said, man, I'm sorry you couldn't come to the resolution that you wanted and hoped for. But that's just the way it is. Things would never be the same. Get with Tupac. Listen to that motherfucker, man. Because, hey, he told you. Tupac cares that don't nobody else care. And we show as hell don't. You got so many other opportunities to get your money. You got so many opportunities. What is it? Uh, Monday night finna come through. Magic City, one of the biggest nights of the week. Hope you make it back. <laughs> Good luck. Let me know what y'all think of this down below in the comments. Be sure to like and share this video. If this is your first time seeing me on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit the post notification bell for all updates. And I'll see you on the next one. All right. Peace. Yeah.
yeah. King of my city in Cul de Sac. Uh. Coming, I swing like soldier rag. Yeah. Leading my people like quarterback. But I study this shit, I'm an almanac. Yeah. Had to get up and grind. Knowledge is booming, I'm here to apply. Came yeah. with the chip and the dip, it just single the mind. We finna do more than survive. I need my check. Yeah. Spinning the block for the Gouda, we hitting the jeweler to flood out the net. Yeah. We don't do beef on computers, so I'm straight out the sewer. We come when you rest. Yeah. Uh, niggas be looking perplexed, so keeping my foot on their neck. Uh -huh. No map, I trust my gut for the quest. With drama, I'm fully oppressed. Yeah. Yeah. I was ready for years and they died of me. Uh -huh. All of a sudden, they tell me they proud of me. Uh -huh. I've been dropping these haters like calories. Uh -huh. Cross somebody came back with some batteries. Stand for my honor, but you run no gunner. Packing a stick with a drum. Wanna catch my bad one fumble. I done came too far to be humble. New day, let's get it. Big chain, let's get it.